Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about um, a converter which I didn't talk about, didn't talk much about in the past, and it is the Flabber converter. But this time I want to focus your attention on the VDS waveform and the snubber. So as you know, the the Flabber converter it is made, it is the isolated version of the back boost. The back boost it is done by a, a switch Q1 and the inductor L and the diode. Now, if you do this and you take, instead of the inductor L, the couple inductor, you will obtain a configuration like this, in which the MOSFET is put in the, in the low side condition and this is the couple, the couple inductor. The couple inductor is composed by the leakage inductor the transformer, the, the transformer, uh, the ideal transformer, which is this, the leakage, the, the magnetizing inductance, LM, and the leakage inductor, LL. These two inductors play different roles. The magnetizing inductor, which is in parallel to the main transformer, to the ideal transformer here, 1N, it has the same role of the inductor L. So basically, it stores energy. The leakage inductor, LL instead, it is a parasitic element which models the fact that in a couple inductor, let me, let me draw it, in a couple inductor, not all the flux is linked to the other side, but some flux goes away. And, that, and this model, this is modeled by a series inductor called a leakage. And uh, uh, so, uh, basically, these two, these two inductors have a different resonance in the waveform. This is the main ringing which causes EMI problems and also spike problems and it is given by the leakage inductors and the CUSS. Why is this? Because uh, uh, when uh, you are in the T-OFF, during the T-OFF period, the MOSFET does, does not exist. So you have, basically, a, an LC, an undamped LC, between this leakage inductor here and the CUSS. The CUSS is the sum of the CDS and the CGS of the MOSFET, and it is around 100, uh, 100 picofarad in, in, high, in, uh, in very... Um, in very performative, in, in, in high performance MOSFET, even uh, 200 picofarad, something like that. And, uh, and so you have this kind of resonance. This instead, this instead, it is given by the magnetizing inductor LM and the CSS, and it is given in the DCM period of your, of your waveform, basically. And uh, this is given by the fact uh, it has a, an higher, uh, a lower frequency because LM is higher than the leakage. So to give you some values, uh, LM is, can be equal to one, uh, 10 micro, for instance. This is design, precise, and stores energy. The leakage can be, for instance, uh, uh, 0 0.1 micro micro henry, 100 micro henry, nano henry, or even 1 micro henry. It depends, but it, uh, it can have value like this. 400 nano henry, Okay, uh, naturally not 100 micro henry. It's impossible to have this inductor as a leakage. Uh, so this is not a value for the leakage inductor. Um, so now let's open Spice and uh, let's uh, let's see how we can uh, design this RDC flyback. So we needed the parameters. I designed everything because uh, I put in this Excel uh, the formula that you need. This is the value of the, the snubber and this is the the ripple across uh, the capacitor of the snubber capacitor according to my calculation the, the value of the snubber is 25 and the, and the value is uh, 300 uh, micro because if multiplied by 10 of 6 uh, i have okay that's because i decided to have uh, i can even have uh, uh, sorry i can even have a lower ripple but uh, uh, but so anyway, let's open at this and let's do this.
So let's put the input back capacitor, which is useless, but I will do uh, nonetheless. Uh, let's put the inductor L1 and uh, let's put the MOSFET and MOS like this. Uh, show the phase dot and of course uh, uh, this is the con um, this is the contrary um let's put uh, first the ideal transformer the ideal transformer can have very high values we don't care we don't care honestly and the magnetizing inductor we care indeed and let's put to 10 micro i designed it on my excel 10 micro and the leakage inductor as design i put uh, as an example i put uh, 0.1 micro the mosfet uh, can be the first on the list and the parameters that we use are the switching frequency to 150 kilohertz the d period 0.37 and the parameter uh, TS, which is 1 over FS, and of course uh, the T on, which is D times TS. These guys have to be inserted in the in the switching way, in the, in the voltage. Let's put 50 micro, and let's put the load as 1 ohm. Now, uh, you want to have the courtesy to name the nets, okay, because otherwise you, you will understand nothing, you won't understand nothing. So this is V-out, this is the secondary voltage, V-sec, uh, this is the, the primary voltage, you, this is a differential one, uh, and uh, this is the VDS, this is the gate, VG, and you want to put uh, the square waveform between uh, 0 and 5 volts, 10 nano and 10 nano as a rise time, and T on as T on, and the period as TS. So nothing new under the sun. Let's just put a value of a resistor of 1 ohm just because you don't want to directly give this guy into the into the MOSFET. So from here nothing seems wrong. Now if you cut just for curiosity and connect it like this and you do and you do run the simulation. Let's clamp this guy. And let's run for one milliseconds. Um, let's delete everyone. Okay. You see the output voltage. Oh, sorry, I didn't link KL1 L2 equal to 1. Sorry, I, I forgot to, to link the, the two. So you see the output voltage. And uh, the VDS voltage, and you can understand that something is wrong. Because uh, something is missing. The, the, first, the, the first thing that it is missing, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, of course, uh, the snapper. You need to place uh, the snubber. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, aside from this, uh, um, it is wrong the orientation of. The... Sorry, sorry. It is wrong the orientation of the of the inductor. So uh, let's do the, the the thing again. You run the simulation, okay, and you see that the output voltage is uh, 15 volts, more or less. Is 15 volts as you designed, and then you see the VDS which is, oh wow, 48 volts, good, I won, uh, no, no, this is uh, a forced simulation, because uh, uh, you, you didn't put uh, the leakage inductor, so basically you are cheating, uh, almost too good to be true, in the real life uh, you will have uh, this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of waveform here, so take care of this, you will have this kind of waveform.
and so you have to put the leakage inductor and when you do and when you run the simulation you will see all the spikes so even if uh, even if the output voltage uh, seems uh, good so even, even if the output voltage seems good uh, around 15 volts, which is the value that I designed, when you check the VDS, not only you have a spike which is unacceptable, but when you check also the power dissipation of the MOSFET, it's around 28 watts. So this thing is not feasible in real life. You have 20 volts, 28 watts of, uh, of uh, power dissipation, so this is, not, this is not feasible. You need to design the the snubber, which I did in uh, using the formulas that uh, you find in application note. And so let's put uh, this guy here. And uh, you will see some improvements. So uh, take care that uh, this is um, a 237, wa 237 watts uh, uh, a topology. Okay, so this is uh, a very high power topology for the, the flyback. So let's put 10. Yes, I divided by two. I divided by half the the designed thing because uh, you know I wanted to to make a very high clamping. The formula is just a reference, by the way. Then you can adjust uh, to your needs. And let's put uh, 10 micro, like the. Okay, so these these values are near the the, the one that I designed. So let's run the simulation. And let's put a short key diode. Let's run the simulation. And uh, you will see that there is a very big improvement. A very big improvement in the, in the VDS. Now it is clamped to uh, 45 volts. And uh, before it was a disaster. And um, now the, 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 the dissipation is uh, more feasible because we have just 6 volts. It is not a low power dissipation, okay? It is not a problem. The, the MOSFET has to be chosen properly, but now it is a feasible. It is a, indeed a feasible dissipation, and uh, not only that, uh, but you, you can see that the, the curve uh, resembles uh, uh, resembles almost the thing that I uh, the thing here. Uh, then uh, another thing to discuss is. Um, Another thing to say is uh, when this uh, uh, this when the snubber is taking action. To discover this, uh, you need to take care. Uh, you need to see the um, you need to see the waveform of the um, the the MOSFET the, the the current of the MOSFET, which is indeed this. And now, before checking this current here, you have to expect that this is acting in the turn off period. Mainly meaning that you have this kind of current here in the turn off period in this small interval, which goes from which goes. which goes here, here, in this interval here, not this, in this interval here, you expect the snubber to act. And why specifically this, this interval here? Because you see that here the voltage is clamped. So, since it is clamped, you are snubbering the ringing, which, is, which was supposed to be, which was supposed to be something like this. So in this interval here, the snubber is taking action, and you have the current flowing. Not and you have the current flowing in the diode, not in another interval. Now that you have understood, now that you have understood, you can press the simulation. You can click it and verify that is true. And indeed, it is. Indeed, it is. So you have the current conduction in this interval only. Okay, this is important. Now, another thing to check is the, the ripple across uh, the capacitor. The higher the value of this capacitor, and the smaller will be the ripple. 
this formula here, 0 0.1, the factor 0 0.1 indicates that uh, if you use this value, you will have a 10% of ripple. Let's check the ripple. And you have, oh, even less than predicted. This is good. Another thing to be checked in the, in the flyback converter is the voltage across uh, the primary and the, and the secondary. It must be zero, okay? This is also important. Yeah, I don't want to pick the resonance, please. Now, if you do check the voltage of the inductor, it has to be zero. Um, okay, these spikes are not so very beautiful, but if you check the average, it's minus 65 millivolts. Okay, something like that is uh, acceptable, but uh, remember that uh, in real life this is zero, otherwise you are charging the... <laughs> You are saturating the core of your uh, of your uh, of your transformer. Well, I think that I can close the video here. Thank you guys for uh, following me. I made this video because uh, some of you in the in the in an old video of the flyback uh, said that uh, there was a problem with uh, the the MOSFET which had uh, two hundred amperes. Now, as uh, now as you can see. I designed everything and the peak voltage is around 30 amps as you can see here 30 amps and everything is working correctly so this is the true flyback this is how you design a flyback converter for the RDC snub to ensure that everything works on thank you guys for your attention and see you in the next video